For all the disappointments that we've had in the first quarter of the season, of course, Tom Brady going down and Indianapolis struggles, maybe some of Jacksonville's early struggles, there have been as many surprises and pleasant ones at that. It's the end zone presented by Sony here on CBSSports.com. And Jason Horowitz, Ian Eagle, glad to be with you. And, you know, Ian, when you look at all these teams that have jumped off the page that nobody expected what they're getting from, Buffalo at 4 0. First time since 92. Tennessee, 4-0. First time in franchise history. Uh, you know, obviously the Giants aren't a surprise, but they're they're undefeated as well. Washington at 3-1, three, three straight yep. wins. Which one stands out to you the most? Biggest surprise of those three has to be the Washington Redskins. Considering where they were in the season opener against the New York Giants and where they are now, Jason Campbell looked like a mismatch for yeah. the West Coast offense. It just didn't look like a good fit. Jim Zorn... You started questioning, why did he get the job? He had never even called plays, and he jumped two levels because Daniel Snyder decided he was the right man for the job. They've come so far, so quickly. Clinton Porter's calling out the offensive line. That could have fractured the team. And now the Redskins all of a sudden uh, have emerged as the biggest surprise out there just because of where they were. Tennessee, playoff team last year. Uh, Buffalo, I'm not surprised they turned the corner. The Redskins have been able to make changes very quickly and gain confidence in a hurry as well. And you have to also be impressed with the defense, especially the secondary, because you take a look at this Redskins team just last week alone. First of all, Philip Daniels is a guy that was out at the beginning of the year. They all, in the first day of practice, first practice. Yeah, uh, not a good sign. No, you no. go out and get Jason Taylor, who, all right, he's injured last week. They're still able to stop the Cowboys. Not, you know, they gave up 24 points, but 24 points to the Cowboys is stopping the Cowboys, and they controlled the game offensively. Jason Campbell, fourth best passer rating right now in the NFL. But I want to talk about Buffalo, and it's a team yep. you just saw last just weekend. Saw. You just saw the Bills in St. Louis. St. Louis is a different story, which you can catch on the end zone presented by Sony. That's a different direction. But the Bills, offensively, defensively, it is a 180 from last season, from the beginning of last yeah. season. Yeah, well, they, they went through an emotional roller coaster last year, it's starting with Kevin Everett yep. and the multitude of injuries. 17 players on IR last year. That was the most in the NFL. Dick Jerron kept this team together, kept them motivated, and they always played hard under Jerron. To me, that was a very clear sign that they believed in their head coach. And now that the chemistry has turned, and chemistry is a funny thing, in the NFL, to get 50 three players to buy in and truly believe and that's what Jerron has been able to do with this team and uh, look well, we could talk all about uh, their fortune and change of fortune the bottom line is Trent Edwards is the real thing last year JP Lossman was ineffective so Edwards gets a chance ineffective and an injury to Lossman by the way I'm not sure Edwards was getting that chance automatically the injury was a big part of it Edwards steps in and has a maturity beyond his years, a poise, and a leadership quality that everybody saw from the very first time he walked into the huddle. First time. Josh Reed tells me that the second that he started calling plays, they realized that this guy was something special. They're not surprised that he's been able to emerge as a star in just his second year. And he has been awfully good Absolutely. running this offense. And he learned at Stanford how to deal with adversity. Yeah, injuries, and injuries on his own front. And, and losing yep. and still bounce back and play well. He learned that. He had to deal with that this offseason. He had an injury in preseason. And he has come back and he has led Buffalo very well. And Marshawn Lynch, by the way, is he's a beast. Yeah, absolutely. He's a beast, flat out. Absolutely. Now, now there are other teams here that are surprises, and I don't think they're as, as loud as they are uh, as these two. You know, Tennessee, we've talked about it, and you can check out the game of the week when we talk about uh, uh, Tennessee and, and Baltimore. Um, but, hey, you got Tampa Bay is 3-1. and one. You got Carolina at 3-1. and one. Teams in the South that I don't think people – thought much about heading into the season maybe they're still not thinking about those teams as much I was higher on Carolina than some other people if you want to go back into the archives and look at our playoff teams I don't think you do but <laughs> Carolina was one of my picks I, I, I truly believe that uh, if Jake DeLome was healthy he's still a very capable quarterback and once they got through the Steve Smith soap opera and which they did undefeated the fight, by the way. yeah they did the fight in uh, in training camp uh, to me it showed that the team came together and I I'm not that shocked by them I'm really not John Fox is an excellent coach and given another chance and probably knowing that this was it he had to get it done this year or maybe they were going to look elsewhere for leadership uh, I I thought John Fox would figure out a way to 
to get this team together. Tampa Bay, that one's a little bit more surprising. They're doing it with Brian Greasy. They're doing it with Brian yeah. Greasy, who nobody would have predicted yeah. was going to be the starting quarterback on a 3-1 and one team after the first quarter of the season. That defense is phenomenal to help Greasy. Now, those yeah. interceptions are up, you know, he, he certainly did not play great in Chicago. But, but they've let him rip it. Balls. They have Absolutely. let him rip it. And he is doing it, and they are winning, and they have not lost since Brian Greasy took over for Jeff Garcia, which certainly doesn't help Jeff Garcia try to get back in the uh, Tampa Bay lineup. Folks, uh, that's the positive of the NFL after four weeks. We're going to talk about the negative of the NFL yeah. as well. There have been a it's, lot of changes. It's a balance. It's yin yeah. and yang. You've got to cover it. If there's somebody that's a fan of the Rams, Raiders, Lions, we're sorry. We're going to talk about that. Also on the end zone presented by Sony. For Ian Eagle, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.